Hi there, this is Dave DeBow, and welcome to episode 100 of Canadian Prophets TV. Wow, 100 episodes, two years of doing this weekly web TV program. It's probably the most consistent I've been about almost anything except for the newsletters over all this time. Hope you're enjoying it. Love to hear any comments you have, any suggestions you have, any feedback you have, what you like, what you don't like about the program. Just scroll down to the bottom. There's a place there where you can leave your comments. Love to hear about it. Give us a shout out for being around for 100 episodes. Love to hear that. Um, so what are we going to discuss on this 100th episode? Well, for our business breakthrough, I want to talk about something I was reminded about by my friend James Malinchak at the event I went to in December, and that is focusing on creating a client versus making a sale. For our real estate tips, we're going to take another idea from our new friend Melvin Yates, who I talked to you last week about, the gentleman who did 20 wholesale, de wholesale deals in 90 days. Well, this week we're going to be talking about focusing on free and clear properties and the ideas he had for that. And for our Mindset Minute, speaking of contributing writers, we're going to take a, a lesson from our new friend and contributing writer, Andrew Barber Starkey, about the reality of the 80-20 rule. So stay tuned. All right, so for this, our 100th business breakthrough, I want to remind you about something I was reminded about, which is focusing on creating clients instead of just making one-time sales. So I was at James Malinchak's Big Money Speaker event where the, the purpose of the event was showing people, showing speakers how to really crank up their speaking business. And like anything, it is a business. So this applies to speaking, this applies to real estate investing, this is, applies to plumbing, whatever kind of business you're in or thinking about getting involved in. So James reminded me that, uh, reminded us that most speakers focus on getting speaking gigs, speaking engagements. So they, they market, 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 they get a speaking engagement, they prepare for it, they run out, they do it, okay, great, and then they go after the next speaking engagement. James does it a very, very different way, much more strategically, much more intelligently, and he markets, markets, markets for getting a speaking engagement as well, but he does, doesn't just leave it at that. He's got many different techniques and systems in place to turn that one presentation he gives for one client hopefully into multiple presentations for that same client or for, for, um, for uh, referrals from that client. So he's got his systems and procedures and policies in place to make that happen on a very consistent basis. Does it happen all the time? No. Does it happen a lot of the time? Yes. Does it happen a lot more often than most of his competitors in that field? Most definitely yes. So how does this apply to you and I? Well, this definitely applies to everybody who's in business or real estate investing for themselves. So for, uh, for any business owner, the biggest mistake I see, or one of the biggest mistakes I see with marketing and sales is just focusing on getting that one sale to that client, get them in the door, sell them something, off they go, buy, where's the next client? It's keeping in contact, it's that consistent communication and contact, kind of like what we do here with Canadian Profits TV, to keep front of mind, to keep in front of that, that perspective, that past client, that prospective client, so that when they're ready for your product or service again, you're the first person that they think of. Same thing applies for real estate investing, especially looking for investors, any kind of business that you're in. So that is your business breakthrough for this week. All right, so for this week's real estate tip, we're gonna visit again our new friend, Melvin Yates from the Washington DC area in the States. Interviewed Melvin recently for Canadian Real Estate Profits, so if you're part of that program, you'll be getting the full interview, which is an awesome interview, uh, in the mail. I think it'll be coming out for next month, so be on the lookout for that one. And one of the concepts that Melvin talked about and that he's focusing on right now with his real estate business is going after uh, homes that are, that are owned free and clear. So in other words, the property owner has no mortgage on the property. So I was talking with Melvin, you know, you hear all of the bad news about the real estate situation in the States, and in some cases in Canada, and how over leveraged people are, and you know, the whole mortgage fiasco, and uh, subprime lending, and all that kind of stuff. And what Melvin was saying is that, I'm trying to remember his quote exactly, but he said close to 30% 
of all properties in the United States are actually owned free and clear. I'm not sure what the percentage is here in Canada, but I'm going to suspect it's a heck of a lot higher than I thought it was and that you thought it was as well. So why does Melvin focus on going after uh, properties that have no mortgage on them? Well, it's so that he can set up terms when he's buying the property. So this is a way that he can go out in the market and actually offer the best price anybody's willing to pay for one of these properties, and he gets the sellers to hold the mortgage for him. So in other words, he gets seller financing on these properties. So what does that mean? It means his credit is irrelevant. He doesn't need to go to a bank to get financing. He's able to get very, very good terms for the property and pay uh, the highest price possible and much higher than any other investors are going to offer for that same property to uh, the property seller. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you listen to that interview. It's a spectacular, very, very, very good interview uh, that I did with Melvin Yates. That's your real estate tip for this week. All right, for this week's Mindset Minute, I want to talk a little bit about the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, first discovered by Wilfredo Pareto, a, an Italian economist in the late 1800s, early 1900s, can't exactly remember. Anyhow, what Wilfredo discovered was that in Italy, 80% of the wealth is held by 20% of the population. He thought that was pretty interesting. He checked it out with other, other countries as well and found consistently in the countries he studied, 80% of the wealth was held by 20% of the population. Then he kept looking at things, looking at things, and found that this ratio also worked with many, many other areas of life besides finances as well. So when it comes to us, the 80-20 rule basically says that 80% of our results come from 20% of our efforts. 80-20 rule. Might not be exactly that, might be 90-10, 95-5, 85-15, who knows, but roughly it's around that. A huge portion of our results, our outcomes, come from, relatively speaking, a small percentage of our efforts. Okay, so you've probably heard of that before, and I'd heard of it before as well. However, our friend Andrew Barber, Barber Starkey, one of our contributing writers for Canadian Business Profits, also a very an amazing business coach, very well known for being T. Harv Eckers' personal coach and who's been coaching for years and has a fantastic system called Pro Coach Systems. Andrew teaches a different twist on this, which I've just learned, which I want to share with you as well. And that is, okay, so 80-20. 80% of our results come from 20% of our efforts. So it would, it would uh, make sense that when we focus on doing those 20% efforts, we're actually getting four times the results for our efforts, right? It would also make sense that when we're doing an 80% activity that's getting us 20% of our results, we're actually just getting one quarter of the results, right? So if we're doing a 20% activity, we're getting four times the bang for our buck, but if we're putzing around doing the majority mediocre work, we're only getting one quarter of our possible results. Okay, so that makes sense. However, the big, big breakthrough is if we look at what is the real difference between one of these activities versus one of these activities, what is the difference between a quarter and four times? And if you look at what the difference is, what Andrew points out, this is actually 16 times the difference. What does that mean in layman's term? That means that if you focus on one of these high impact activities, you're actually getting 16 times the bang for your buck versus doing something that's in the, in the 80% mediocre majority. That's a 16 time increase. That's an exponential return on your effort. This is called leverage. This is how you get, this is how successful people get so much more done than the rest of us accomplish so much more than the rest of us. They focus more on this. Now, it's impossible to focus all of our time on the on the 20% stuff. You still have to deal with some of the 80% stuff, obviously. However, my challenge to you and to myself as well, and I talked to my staff about this, is let's just try to bump this 20% time 
Instead of pay, spending 20% of our time on 20% activities, what if we spent 25% of our time on our 20% activities? That's going to make a huge difference in the long run. So that's your Mindset Minute. Take a new look at the 80-20 rule. Decide and figure out what your 20% activities are versus your 80% activities. Focus a little bit more on the 20 percenters because you're going to get 16 times the bang for your buck for doing that. That's your Mindset Minute for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. All right, thank you very much for tuning in to episode 100 of Canadian Profits TV. Hope you enjoy it. Hope we've got another 100 in us or more, that's for sure, because I enjoy doing these TV blips a lot. Um, what's going on? Well, if you are not a Canadian Profits Diamond member, you're going to be missing out on our upcoming Diamond Getaway, our annual getaway where we have a lot of fun together, go somewhere warm and tropical, learn something, mix and mingle, network, have a blast. This year we're doing something completely different, a Caribbean cruise. You can check that out at diamondcruise.ca. If you're not currently a Canadian Profits Diamond member, you should be, and you can check that all out at canadianprofitsdiamond.ca. Take care, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.